Again, I'm just gently rubbing your belly or- Stop wait, rubbing go. my belly, I'm not Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> Open your eyes and just give me the duster. Ajumma. Oh, that time. Oh, it ain't good when he starts speaking Korean. There you go, right there. Oh. Are you ready? Should we try this? Yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. Shh, you're too loud. <laughs> Hey guys, James and Mark here with another mukbang. If you guys are new to our channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Today we are going to be having Dungeness Crab. Ooh, Dungeness. <laughs> you look like you're in a dungeon. Ooh. Like, what's up with these? You should, okay, y'all should be used to these black gloves. I mean, if now. they're new, they don't know. They just might be like, why is that guy wearing black gloves? Uh, I like to wear gloves when I touch food. Not me though, right? I, oh, this we is the only reason why I wear gloves. <laughs> Today we have two sauces. We have just melted butter in front, mm. and then in the back I made a garlic mayo sauce. Mm. Actually, these crabs, shout out to my parents. They were the ones that picked it up because they were on sale at the local Asian market. I think it was either $5 a pound or $5.99 a pound, which is Ooh. really a great deal. And I think each of these were about two pounds, Ooh. so. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, they're heavy. Oh, yeah. This guy was not on keto. <laughs> Bam, bam. Are you doing the legs first? I am doing this big one. Oh my God. The big one first? Yeah, I have anxiety over eating crab on camera because someone always has something to say about how to eat crab, but this is just how we eat it, so. Mmm, you're very methodical. I just went right into it. Oh. Mmm. What? The it? meat is very like, is I don't know if it's because I just dumped it in the whole butter, but it's really good. Oh. Too. So I think it's crab season right now. That's the only reason why I would think crab is on sale. And it's usually in the winter months. Oh, is it? I think. Oh. But yeah, look at this chunk right here. Oh. Oh my God. They're so good. I know you haven't gotten your first bite yet, but oh. Mm. Mm. It's just the meat's like sweet. Mm, yeah. You kind of don't need the butter or the mayo, huh? Mm mm. I got some like lemon wedges around if you need to use anything. Okay. Um. Mm. Yeah, but it's funny because my dad called me yesterday and he was like, I told him last time there was crab on sale, please buy it for us and cook it for us because the last time crab went on sale, I told Mark, let's go to the market, but what? you said, oh, you know, I don't want to cook them. Why? Well, not just me, but you, you said this last time we cooked live crabs too. Uh -huh. I just feel bad. Like, and no shame if you don't care about that. That's you and you know, kudos to you. I wish I had that same, you know, attitude but i don't know if they're already dead i'm eating i'm like it doesn't feel as bad as cooking something that's already alive yeah yeah of course as soon as my dad offered i was like yeah please well the thing is you're like oh but can mom cook it for us uh-huh so we didn't have to cook it mm -mm. Oh. we just rolled up to their place and they had this foil tray that had the two crabs sitting in it mm -hmm. oh i remember last time some people like didn't like how we're using our teeth to open up the crack ship. Oh yeah, we, should, we haven't gotten... See, it's just one of those things where it's like... I don't remember to get the crab cracker. If anyone wants to send one to our P.O. box, uh, no. just look down below. <laughs> and we'll use it in the next video. I mean, I guess I do have to be more careful about my teeth because yeah. we are getting a little older. I told Mark this morning, like, I woke up and I just felt sore. And it's like... It's not like we went to the gym the night before, or we didn't, we didn't go anything. dancing. No. We didn't move like boxes or anything. We just literally sat at home all day. Yeah. I woke up sore and I was like, oh no. This is just the reality now. Oh, I cannot wait to get into the inside of this crab because it's so heavy. 
Oh, like the body part? Uh -huh. Oh, that's one of our favorite parts. Yeah. All the essence is in there. Oh, I probably should have opened up my beer before. My, my hands got all crabby. That's why you're like, oh, oh, let's get into it. I was like, oh, I, I feel like we just sat down. It's not like the crabs are going to go anywhere, right? But no. Mmm. Do you remember that one time we went to San Francisco and ate crab? Oh, at Swan, Swan Oyster Bar? No, the other place. There's this other place we went to. Um, but their specialty was like crab, the, the garlic the crab. Yeah. And then we went to the club. Good thing I already, you know, we were already together because no one was going to come talk to us that night. And it wasn't just me. Usually, like, fine, I, like... No, we were, in a, we were in a group of people. Most of them just happened to be like girls. So when we smell like someone that burped up garlic smell, naturally the people around us won't assume it's the girls. So just look at us. But I swear it was like Irene or someone. <laughs> Don't out her. I think all of us burped that night. That's a funny thing. Yeah. So note to yourself, do not eat garlic noodles before you go dancing mm -hmm. because like, we probably drink a lot of beer at the bar too i think yeah we tend to drink that or like a lot of like things Car that have soda water carbonation yeah you know? yeah speaking of san francisco we're uh we just planned a last minute with weekend trip to san jose mm, yeah so it's that'd been be exciting. a while yeah but we've just been putting off some like visiting off uh visiting some friends that I've moved in the area a while back and we just haven't seen them yet. So yeah. if we happen to be roaming the streets of San Jose and you guys see us up there, make sure you say hi. Recognize once now I'm obsessed. <laughs> Is there a goal now to be recognized in um, one in every 50 states? Uh, well, I think the goal should be just to go to the 50 states. No, don't um, give us a reason to go. But if no one does, we keep having to go back to that state until someone recognizes us. Oh my god. What state do you think would be the hardest to get someone to recognize? Wyoming. Yeah, probably. Because there's less people there. If you're from Wyoming, let us know in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> that would be very exciting. It is really good. Right? Yeah. Uh, I don't really know if I'm saying it correctly, but when my mom gave us the tray, she said the uh, chak that means meaty. Yeah. Because sometimes they could be heavy, but then they're just not, they're not full, like meaty. It's just like all in the shell or something. I can see why crab could be expensive because there's probably not a machine that just like crushes it and takes all the crab meat out. Like there's probably people that have to do this, right? If you want like actual crab meat. I think there are machines. Oh, there are. How you doing over there? You're on the second half of the legs? Yeah. Okay, good. We're keeping pace then. Are we? Yeah. Mmm. Hello. do. It's such a treat. If Hattie knew what's up, he would be on this side because you know, I'm the one that spills more. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> I see him going on your side now. No, hey, dude. Oh, there's a lot of good flavor. You really don't need any butter or mayo with this. Yeah, but don't judge me when I dip it into the butter. It's so good. Yeah. It's so good naked. As most things are. Okay, so I spilled a piece of crab on my thigh earlier and there's the juice left over and he's just going to town. Hadu! I'm not that kind of girl. Mm. Right before um, we started filming, I was watching this girl who steamed, which I think she steamed her crab in coconut water. 
I thought that was very interesting. Interesting. Does that make a difference? Probably, because I've done it, and we've just done it in water and beer, and I think beer is also very popular that people would do it. Okay. But I didn't know there was all these other, like, liquids you could, like, steam it in, and I think it just helps I'm curious about milk. Oh, can you even boil? Oh, I guess you could boil milk. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Why milk? I don't think it would add any flavor, would it? Uh, milk is supposed to help, like, get rid of bad smells in food. Mm. So, you know, sometimes crab could smell like the ocean. Oh, I see. I get sad whenever I find someone who can either eat seafood or doesn't like it. I don't know. It do not affect me personally, but I just, I enjoy it so much that I just am sad that someone wouldn't like it. Use any lemon yet? Add a little zest to your life. Uh, some had lemon slices on it, so I taste it. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. What? Just that little... Speaking of garlic burps... <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, it didn't come. <laughs> they say if you, like, hold in your burp, don't you lose brain cells? Is that what? not true? No. Or is that, like, a... They say they must sneeze it. Oh! And even that, I don't think is true. Holding your burp. Well, now you know my backstory. No? <laughs> I might call him up and be like, hey, any more crab in that tank? Usually when the crabs are on sale like this much, you see it all over Facebook. It's on the Vietnamese radio station. Everyone's texting each other. You see on everyone's Instagram story. It just goes like if you don't act quick, then you just miss you the window. Out on it. You miss the train. Yeah. So I do have to admit, like, um, this crab tastes so much better than the what you get at Costco, like the, the already frozen one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That just means I feel, I have a good feeling that the body of the the crab itself is going to be very meaty. You think so? Yeah, because it's still we took up all the legs and feel how heavy it is still. Yeah. It's like a mystery. We um Yeah, you just don't know. We just don't know what you're gonna find inside. <gasps> Speaking of inside, that's like our favorite part. All it of is. the It is. But that's a mystery. Sometimes it's there. I don't know. I think it's called tamale. Tamale? I don't know. Oh the you're talking about the 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 crab guts. The guts. That's I guess the best way to ex like describe it. Sometimes it's green, sometimes it's bright orange. Every time it's delicious. <laughs> I always thought the orange part was the roe. Mmm, maybe. I'm gonna be anxious to see if any of these have a lot inside. I already asked my mom for the how how the other ones that they've already cracked open look, and she said they're not as. Oh really? So we shall see. I think when it comes to eating with our hands, you kind of eat a little faster than I do. Because I can't wait to wipe them off and just get on to the next step, right? <laughs> guys look, I look like I'm eating in time lapse. Oh my god, I wish there... Do you think there's like a crab eating competition somewhere? Sign me up! Do you think I would do well? You would do well. I don't know about extracting the meat. I think there's certain parts where I slow down. Do you want to just get to the body? Body yaddy yaddy? Sure. Uh, remind me how to open it. So you flip it over like this. Okay. And I typically, it's kind of like a loose tooth. So like one side will get like, kind of get a grip. And then you just kind of lift Ooh. where you can. And then it... Oh. oh yeah so just like that and you guys i don't know I, it's kind of far away you got it there you go oh yeah mm. oh so i don't can you guys see that just the lining inside i'm sorry blocking your face there you go right there oh oh drip drip oops <laughs> oh. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. 
What if I tasted like this? I you would, would not I would eat get, you every day. You would not get off of me. And you cannot say no. <laughs> oh my, that's really good. Mmm. Oh, you got a darker um, color. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the thing with this is you definitely don't need butter eating the mm -hmm. the essence of the crab. No. Oh, butter would be good too, huh? I, I mean, don't judge. I, oh my gosh. I, I just scooped a little bit. Mm. Are we going to do it? You know what? This would be good with rice. We should we should we make rice? I I mean I feel like you have to. Yeah. Well, just, okay. Let's make rice. We have okay. rice. Time out. We'll be right back. Yeah. All right. So we're back. We just uh, got a little bit of white rice prepared. Yeah, and then some sesame oil and soy sauce and seaweed. And this is a really good way to eat the head of the crab with the, yeah. um, what'd you oh, call it? Tamale? Tamale, guts, with innards, the, whatever you want to call whatever it. Whatever you want to call it, the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to split this rice, right? Yeah, yeah. Because, right. you know, low carb life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you just fill the body with that. Uh-huh. You didn't half see this rice. You're sabotaging me. Some soy sauce. Give me a little spritz while you have it here. Sure. Mm. Oh, the smell. It's, I cannot bit, wait. A little bit of... Just a small touch. Ooh, okay. You can add butter if you want. Oh, butter would be good too, huh? I, I mean, don't judge. I, oh my gosh. Sesame oil and butter, that's double... What, the double double. And then, Ooh, I don't think I had this growing up. I'm just gonna see. Seaweed? This. Well, like in my. Oh, in your crab? Yeah. This is how I would eat the body part. Okay. And then we just mix, mix? Yeah. Oh, guys. <gasps> I'm like drooling as we're doing this. It smells so good. If you have excess uh, crab meat, you could even add it into here if you want. Oh, that would be good. But I just like it in this purest form. I don't even want to take a sneak bite yet because I'm just mm. like... Okay, so let's see. Are you ready? Should we try this? Yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. Shh, you're too loud. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think crabby? <laughs> oh my god, that oh gosh. I know it might seem bizarre to eat this to begin with, but it, you're you're missing out if you don't try it. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mmm. Mm, yeah. We have some leftover seaweed some Oh my god, well. I just got a corner that had more surprises. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Oh. You know how I stepped on the scale and I was like, I lost two pounds. <laughs> I don't care. I gained them all back and probably then some, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Mm. It's just like, it's just rich. Mm -hmm. It's buttery. This is just the perfect amount, like portion. You don't want to eat too much of this because it could get kind of too much, but... It's like the best. Mmm. Oh god. Oh my god, the corner. There's a corner again. Ooh. This is actually my favorite part. Yeah. Eating it like this. Mm. Mm. Wasn't that satisfying? That was really good. 
That was really, really and good. And you know the best part? We still got the body left. We still have all the body meat. Which is a treat because it's not as hard as the, the legs to extract the meat. Oh, I'm gonna bring this back. Oh, oh, we're, we're continuing. <laughs> you can watch me eat. Oh no, your gloves. What? <laughs> I brought more. I did not even know you brought more. You came prepared, girl. Oh no. Oh wait, is your hands clean? Yeah. My back itch is right in the middle. Oh my God. Lower. Okay, ow. <laughs> I'm wearing gloves. I don't know how much to grab. The second part, I feel like it's, Left like marks. Marks from Mark. So yeah, uh, usually you just, you get rid of this. I forget what this is called. The apron. Oh, yeah, the apron. And then you can crack it down the center. Usually. Oh, oh. oh. there you go. Just like that. I have my, here, I'd rather give you my piece because it has a lot of the- um... Just, uh, you know. Whatever you don't eat, you can put it in the center. Okay. There's mm. a lot of the um, tamal stuff still on it. Yeah. Mm. This part, it, you really could live without the butter just because the all the crab flavor is still everywhere. There. Mm. Why did I wear a white shirt today? <laughs> Like, on a Dungeness crab, I do like the leg meat, mm -hmm. but growing up, and even maybe even so right now too, the body meat I really like. I like how soft it is, you know? Mm -hmm. mm. 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 <laughs> What's going on over there? No, that was a I, that was a, I did a good job on that one. Oh, okay. that was good. So, since we're eating crab, and you're being crabby earlier, are there anything else that makes you feel crabby? What what would put you in a crabby mood? Oh, I can think of a few examples. Can we take turns just so I don't look like I only complain? I hate being awaken awake woken up woken up waken up a certain way how i yeah. think there's been a few times where you're playful about how you wake me up and that's not the right time oh i get crabby because you get crabby when i do that i'm like <laughs> i'm like baby like because like we have dinner reservation somewhere like we have to get going and you're like deep asleep me in the most gentlest way I'll be like rubbing your, you know, belly or back. Oh, like, belly. I'm like, baby, you know, wake up. It's time to go. And you just open your eyes and you just give me the duster. I'm like, hey, let's go. And you're like, mm. and then you get <laughs> mad at me. I was like, what do you want? I could have just violently, sh you know, shaken you and just like, hey, get up. But I don't do that. I do it in the most gentle way. And you still get mad at me just because you were woken up. I'm not talking about those times. Fine, those times I shouldn't be crabby, but I am. There's there's just some of these other times where I don't know, like I don't know, you tickle my feet or something where it's not conventionally way to wake me up, and that is what makes me crabby. Don't bring in these other examples. I think in your head I'm like being malicious and like tickling you, like hey, 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 hey. but in reality, again, I'm just gently rubbing your belly or your shoulder. Stop running up. my belly. I'm not Buddha. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> That's making Why me crabby. Why are you crabby? What about you? That doesn't have to relate with me, though. If it does, it does, though. Um, well, since you're talking about, like, being, you know, waking up or whatever. Oh, this has to do with you. Oh, okay. Oh, it no. is It is dependent on you. Oh, no. Uh, you know, we, James and I, we have different morning styles. Okay. I am a morning person, don't get me wrong. I am. Oh, you are. But my morning, I love it when it's like still kind of dark and I'm just have my robe on. It's nice and quiet when like other people are still sleeping, you know, that kind of like environment. 
and the times when and usually most mornings it's good because james is still sleeping and i get to kind of you know do my own thing but the times when we wake up at the same time first thing you do is open the blinds like and it's like super sunny bright outside i was like hey whatever i could handle that because i do like sunshine but then you say alexa turn on whatever whatever and Alexa, higher volume, higher volume. And it's like, we're cranking up music first thing in the morning. You're singing along on the top of your lungs and dancing. And you like, look at me, it's like, ah. <laughs> I'm like, I am not there yet. Okay. So I, that gets me in a crabby mood. I've been doing that a lot less recently, yet you're still bringing it up like it's <laughs> happening every day. No, it doesn't happen every day. Then, but then take it back. But no, you're asking me when I get crabby. I'm oh, not when? Okay, that, yeah. Yeah. I've so gotten thing, better though. The thing is, is that we do, totally have different morning styles. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, is it my turn again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you have more, I'm. Mm. This is therapeutic. Okay. Uh -oh. Not. Oh no! This doesn't have anything to do with you. Sometimes like slow service, unnecessarily slow yeah. service at a restaurant kind of irks me and I get it. I've never been a server, so I, I'm very patient, but once I cross that threshold, it makes me crappy. The most recent example I could think of, we went out to a restaurant and it's one of those like fast casual dining. So you order at the counter and then they call your name, you get your food and all the pepper shakers were claimed by other tables. So I just asked the person up front politely, can I get a pepper shaker? Yeah. And I just, I felt like I stood there for yeah, I was like, five, six minutes. Yeah, I was like, why you so long? Yeah. Here's another thing that makes me crabby is when the food gets cold. <laughs> so they already brought out the food. It's been sitting, and we had, uh, there was no seats in the restaurant except for outside. Yeah, so so we were out in the cold, yeah. and I just felt like there was no sense of urgency to get this. I think that's what bothered me. There was no sense of urgency to get the pepper. Yeah. So I, I told someone... They said something else to someone else and nothing happened. And then eventually a table left and they had a, a, a pepper. pepper thing there. So I just grabbed theirs and I said, oh, I'm, I'm good now. And then I, I wasn't attitude about it, but internally that makes me crappy. Oh, yeah. When we got to the restaurant first, we were sat down first and we ordered first. And the table who came like 20 minutes after us get their food first and they ordered the same exact thing. Remember that? So I was kind of at, I was like, Ajima. Oh, that time. Oh, it ain't good when he starts speaking Korean. And she's she like, oh, I don't know. You scared her though. She bought us out extra tempura. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, think about it. No? Well, she, so what did she say again? And she, they made a mistake on who, to, who no, they brought No, she out? said the, the kitchen made a mistake. So she blamed but my, them. But in my head, I was like, well, you're still bringing out the same dish. So you know who ordered first. Yeah. The quant, it was, it's the same quantity too. Oh, exactly. Yeah. We were, the they whole night, the we same were, appetizer. Yeah, we were just focused <laughs> on like, oh, they got their food. What are they doing over there? Yeah. I think what was crabby, what made me crabby about the situation was like, they didn't even acknowledge it until we had to say something. Yeah. Like, just say something and... We're not that mean. But then once you like take advantage of that niceness, then you'll get the claws. <laughs> All right, so I think we're gonna wrap up today. Cause- That was a good meal. It was so good. Yeah. Very good. Um, let's do word of the day. Okay. Should I go this time? Yeah. Let's do moon. I don't know why. I looked at your eyes and I feel like I saw two little moon thingies. Oh, do I remind you of the moon? <laughs> Certain parts of your body do. <laughs> oh. On that note, make sure you guys thumbs up this video, comment, subscribe, check out one of our other videos, and we'll see you guys for our next one. Bye. Bye.